Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and it seems like we finally have some answers from the Russo brothers about the ending of Avengers Endgame. If you're still scratching your head over whether the old Steve Rogers that Sam encounters at the end of the film is from an alternate timeline or not, then thankfully both directors from the film stepped forward and gave a definitive answer in an interview with Fox 5 DC. Throughout this video I'll be breaking down the original confusion and discussing how Steve came to be at the end of the movie. This is full spoilers ahead so if you're someone who was snapped out of existence at the end of Infinity War and haven't had a chance to watch Endgame yet then I highly recommend that you turn off now. With that out of the way, I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video. I hope you enjoy it. Now sit back, relax, and let's get into the full breakdown of the theory. Okay, so Avengers Endgame ends with Steve Rogers travelling back in time to return the Infinity Stones and Mjolnir to their rightful places, but rather than returning to the present, Steve goes back to live out the life that he should have had with Peggy Carter. After going through time the old fashioned way, Steve finally sits on the bench seemingly moments after he travelled back so that he can present his shield to Sam and announce that he is the new Captain America. Most of the main confusion came over whether this was actually the original Steve Rogers or if he was from another reality. Going by the rules of the film, Cap should have went back in time and created a new alternate reality, however the writers of the movie came forward and said that Steve was actually Peggy's husband the entire time. So which one actually is it? Well the following interview with the Russos finally clears it all up. Wow. Alright, last thing, and I know you guys have explained the multiverse a zillion times, yeah. this part I still can't wrap my mind around. Yes. When Cap goes back, yeah. where is the Cap in that world? The like so when he goes back to the early mm -hmm. days is there still another captain america in that world yeah so the the way that it would work right is that when captain america goes back he would create a branch reality right okay now he would exist in that branch reality with a second captain america who is frozen in ice so the other cap period. still exists in that world so, so still did exists, peggy not know that other cap well, he's that other Cap is frozen in ice. And point, Peggy understood so. that he was dead at that point in the storytelling because oh. Cap went back to a point in time uh, where nobody knew he still was alive frozen no. in ice. Now, it's also a story for another time as, of course, if he <laughs> created a branch reality, he would then have to use a pin particle to come back. <laughs> or this reality yeah. to hand that shield off. Yeah. That's so Okay, so from this we can take that Captain America did in fact create a branch reality and at some point he travelled back to prime reality in order to return the shield using a pin particle. So the cap that we see at the end is from the original timeline and the one that we have followed for the past decade or so. However, the timeline that he lived in is not the same that we have been watching and Peggy did indeed have a different husband to Steve Rogers in the main reality. It's sort of a bittersweet explanation as I was kind of in the mindset that Peggy and Steve were always together, which is why we never really heard much about her husband. However, it does also mean that he never kissed his niece Switch yet. I'm kind of glad that's not the case either. Obviously, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and if it's finally cleared it up for you or if you have more questions. I also just want to let you know that we're giving away a free copy of Avengers Endgame to one lucky winner next month and all you have to do is like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the movie in the comment section below. The winner will be chosen at random on August the 10th and the Blu-ray will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize. Best of luck to everyone who takes part and thanks for joining in on the channel. If you want to learn more about the Marvel Universe then make sure you check out the breakdown of Spider-Man Far From Home which I've just released and will be linked at the end. It covers all of the big questions that you may have about the film and I go into what I think will happen in Spider-Man 3 so it's definitely worth watching after this and I'll leave that linked at the end. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes so if that's the kind of thing you like hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.